Mo- Another mattress star. These people make us sick, and that's from Mo Chair Rebellion. Okay. What? Um, <laughs> Who's who are these people? Uh, just people watching Supporters. the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, or just so yeah, just hell. yeah. Listen, okay. everyone has their own opinions. You can't hurt them for doing that, for believing in what they believe. Everyone is born mm. in different circumstances, right? You know, you didn't choose. Absolutely Yo. not. You didn't choose to be a Muslim. She didn't choose to be a whore. And I didn't choose to be who I am. You know? What are you? I'm a genius, basically. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, I see. You, um, <sighs> you guys, what, what, what's going on here? Um, they said they had issues. And um, I asked. Uh, <laughs> Mo has all the screenshots, but... Um, yeah, so we kind of saw this coming that you guys were going to come on here and probably try to troll. Yeah. Uh, from what you told her that you were a sanitation worker, that's not true. Um, you saying that he's flirting with girls at his job or whatever, and we kind of saw that this might happen. So we got some of the screenshots of the conversation uh, that we'll go ahead and show on here because we knew that you guys were going to be doing this bullshit. So uh, this is a real show. Yeah, because this is a real show, and it's you guys good. think it's funny, and it's not fucking funny. Yeah. So uh, this is the conversation between Icy and uh, Kimberly. And as you can see here, I do porn, blah, 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 goes through her situation. You summarize it for us, I see, because you had the conversation with them. It's just basically um, every time when I book a couple, I try to see, like, what's going on or what's the issues. And I genuinely just want to help people out in their situation. So, she, you know, it's a it's a common situation. She does porn and he doesn't agree with it. But yet, supposedly, he flirts with the guys in the thing. And then um, this is me actually calling her out because I had a random person in my request because supposedly Carl was on live talking about how they were going to come on Fresh and it last week and mm-hmm. then they sent me this mind you this person had zero following so i confronted her about it i was curious i'm like if you guys are not serious about this like i won't have you guys on and you know obviously she convinced me that yes they are serious that they do have issues and whatever issues that they're going through we do have sent me um a waste management thing you could see mo <laughs> There you what go. The yep. Yeah, this is supposedly that he works in yeah, waste yeah. management, but he came on here saying he's a life coach. So yeah. I, I'm I'm genuinely and, confused and we knew, and to s- chat. Yeah. Wait, so like wait. once, see, th- here's the thing, bro. We know that you guys were thinking about doing this. So we're like, all right, let's see if they come on and be honest. And you guys came on and lied and did some bullshit. So I'm going to tell you this. Get the fuck off my show. Both of y'all. Get the fuck off the show. That's serious. I'm going to squirt you out. Get out. And that's a fake ring, by the way. Huh? Fake ring. It's a, it's on my finger. Get up, just go. Get out of here. Y'all think this is a game? It's not. Nope. To your left. To your left. I'll get. I'll get your so that's the first ever couple, Frank Castle. I think. I think, guys. Honestly, the, game, the chat knew firsthand. We did too. But again, you know, uh, we try to make it as real as possible. No fake shit. And obviously speaking, they thought it was a joke. So, I mean, this is one for the bucks. Actually. If you're in Castle Club TV, you would have seen earlier the pre-stream and what the guy said was hilarious, by the way. Because I, I was like, yo, bro, like, do you know Aiden Ross? Because I remember seeing a clip where this guy went to Aiden Ross's stream and said he was this and that. I'm like, oh, this guy's a streamer. So W. Myron for that, that was definitely uh, called for. And um, his accent was super not real. I mean, yeah, no, <laughs> it was pretty uh, obvious. The, the, uh, the and he kept saying Negro. I'm like, bro. Who the fuck who, who, says who Negro says to bro, people like, that you don't fuck? even fucking know? Like, yeah, I say nigga, but I'm from Miami. Like, come on, man. <laughs> no, nah, but honestly, chat, like, I genuinely, I really work hard into trying to no. um, talk to people and, yeah. like, really try to get um, good, legit couples onto the show with genuine problems. Honestly, like, when shit like this comes on, I, I, obviously, I asked Myron and Fresh, like, what's what should we do? She was begging me to, like, come on. So I was just like, all right, you want to make a fool yeah. out of yourself? Yeah. Well, here you go. And Here's it's funny, the content. We, we had someone else coming on as well, but it was all cap. Um, I'll let Myron talk about that, too, as well. But, <clears throat> well, offer it, man. I mean, I they definitely came on to troll whatever. Thought it was funny. Um, it wasn't funny. But you guys knew from before as well, so shout out to you guys in the chat for knowing that. But again, you know, let's move forward, do a show with you guys, and then... We got some special guests, com- special guests coming tonight um, that you guys know very well. So it's what it is, man. But yeah, uh, that was definitely Cap. And I just, bro, Mo, the accent was definitely telling, bro. I was like, bro, that's not your accent, bro. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, bro, there's yeah, no I, way. I knew I knew it was bullshit from the jump. I'm like, all right, bro. I like, And I was telling myself, like, yo, Mo, keep you cool. Just do your thing. Do your job. Yo, <laughs> just, just, just go to work. Don't say nothing. 
Let Myron Fresh handle it. Mm-hmm. They got it. Get rid of the Just, fucking trash. Yeah, man. Yeah, because obviously they came with an agenda. And- yeah, and honestly, we kind of saw that this might happen, uh, so we prepared accordingly. Uh, I was like, okay. He fucked up in the first two minutes when I was like, what do you do for work? And he didn't mention that he does sanitation. Or, alleg- allegedly what he told Icy, so... <laughs> I knew it was some bullshit, so whatever, man. It is what it is. I remember asking about, uh, about Aiden. He's like, I was oh. like, y'all niggas want some content? All right, how good to get some content, man? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, bro. So um, so there you go, man. We Frank Castle everybody. Equal opportunity uh, kick routers here. We had another show scheduled as well. Yeah. But we canceled it because the guy, oh, the whole yeah. story was capped. Yeah, yeah. You want to tell him about that real quick? So basically, so. we did a, a whole show about Ruby Rose and his number, her number one spender. And what happened was... We're going to bring him on a podcast. You guys asked for it. We're going to bring him on. Kind of find out his whole spiel, his whole payments to her, tattoo all stuff, was a marketing plan for mm-hmm. her agency to kind of boom up and her page to boom up. So obviously speaking, we're not going to do a show with someone that's fake. Like, no, we're not. Yeah. I, Adam did it already, exposed him, whatever. So yep. I was like, bro, why bring him on in the yep. first place anyway? Yep. They dropped so. that interview and we were like, nah, because... I thought about it. I was like, man, should we do it? And Fresh was like, nah, fuck no. And I was like, is, all right. You can tell us, you fine. know what? All right, this is a real... But if you want to have me on still, come on. But, bro, you're just capping the whole way trying to come on the podcast. No. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. So. Hey, yo, it's kind of crazy, bro, how um, people do ridiculous shit for attention and clout. And it's like these two clowns, that dude. It's like, bro, like, I guess it's really hard out here in the social media world where people got to fucking do all this bullshit to try to get attention. Like, bro, it's it's. They literally do anything for clout. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, thank God that we don't got to do no dumb shit like that. Yeah. For clout, bro. You know what's funny? This like, guy, Carl, whatever. Yeah. I guarantee you, he wants that clip to post everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. just made themselves look dumb, though. Yeah. It's like, bro, just get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> like, you, you ain't gonna, you know what I mean? Like, you just got kicked off the show. Like, you were on here for like five minutes. And it's like, and we knew they were gonna do that shit. So we're like, yeah. all right, cool. We're gonna play your game. All right, what do you, what is it? And then he made the cardinal mistake <laughs> that every criminal makes is like, lied off rip. Like, couldn't even keep it straight for a little bit. So it was like, all right, bro. And I asked him, Hey, aren't you that guy from Aiden Ross's stream calling him out, so to speak? Oh, that might have been me. I don't know. Come yeah, on, bro. bro. L couple. L clout chase. But we do have some really good guests coming for after hours. So yeah, 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 guys. Uh, we got uh, we got Neon and Sneeko coming in. Uh, so it's going to be a good time. Uh, but yeah, man. I mean, I guess that was the quickest couples therapy ever. Yeah. Give us some therapy. Get the fuck out of here. Literally. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look. We do this show to help people become better and yeah. learn from their mistakes that mm-hmm. like we have as well. And if you want to play games, do it somewhere else. Don't do it here. I mm-hmm. mean, just to be transparent. Yeah. So I mean, it, it is what it is, man. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let's see here. What do we? Uh, any any chats or anything like that? Yeah, we got. Because the- they were supposed to come on like a week or two ago. Yeah. And we did like I see was like, yo, y'all are on some bullshit and call her out. And then they started sending all this crazy shit. I'm like, bro, that should go to show. Like they went. Above and beyond waste management, to, the, like they they send in like some weird letter shit. Like yo, they went above and beyond that, to like is, to, to lie to like put someone's like actual company logo and then some random shit. I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? That, that's that's some weirdo shit though. Like you wow. go above and beyond like that to 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 have a to like guess some kind of lie. And she was telling me after like I have an OnlyFans. I was like I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, <laughs> like I don't give a fuck. I'm Kimberly. Like I'm no, Kimberly. we really are in a relationship. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Like j- y'all just gotta go, bro. Like, how'd you, get the fuck how'd you guys meet? Uh, uh, yeah, Instagram, and, like niggas couldn't even act. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like you didn't get the story right. Like you didn't tell her what the story yeah, was. They couldn't even act right, bro. Oh, like I, d- I DM'd him first. Yeah, what girl DM yeah. the guy first, <laughs> bro? I was like, come on, bro, come up with a better story, bro. Come yo, up with a better story. Like they didn't even rehearse. That like, makes yo, sense. If y'all are gonna come in here and troll, like come up with some better, come up with a better story, man. Like what the hell was that, bro? He's like, I'm an actor, L actor, bro. Yeah, that man. was terrible. That was just terrible. Yeah, and you could tell he was trying hard as hell to keep that act the going. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm a philosopher. Yeah, I'm, a philosopher. Rah, 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 rah. I'm, I'm a crypto guy too, as well. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, nigga, did you do you think that we didn't all talk with each other? We don't know that you're supposed to be saying that you're a sanitation worker or some shit like that, <laughs> waste management. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, <laughs> <sighs> well, oh, man. I'll say this, man. WFNF for that. Frank Castle. First oh, yeah, yeah, couple, yeah, yeah, couple yeah, yeah. Frank Castle. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. I, I, like, because here's the thing. I knew that they were going to do that shit, so I was like, all right, we're we going to make y'all famous. Y'all want some clout? You, you about to get it and look there fucking retarded in the same process. Like, you know what I mean? And here's the thing. It's, uh, you know, 
it's it's always interesting um, because like especially like sex worker chicks, they always got to do like dumb shit. Like because mm-hmm. it's so ins- saturated now, like pornography and girls being on OnlyFans and shit like yeah. that. Like to stand out, to stand out, you it's have tough. to do dumb shit a lot. Like you got to say crazy shit like that. One girl said I ate some dingleberries, Dingleberry. <laughs> and then this bitch is over here with this weird nigga trying to say that he I just wrapped my mouth around his. We first met. Like, what the fuck? Like, bro, like, who's talk- who that, yo, bro? Like, who, yeah, like, yo, literally, yo, we live in a clout world. Like, yo, people do anything for clout, man. Like, it's wild, especially nowadays. Ever since the pandemic, it's been even worse now because more yeah. people are on social media, more girls are on OnlyFans, more people are trying to be content creators. They they surveyed, um, they surveyed like teenagers, mm-hmm. bro. All of them want to be influencers. That's like the number one job that everyone wants to do. Like, it used to be astronaut, doctor, oh. lawyer. I want to be an influencer. It's fucking crazy, bro. I used to be artists and then actors. Yep. And now it's streamers. Now, yeah. Now, IRL streamers. Now social media. And, bro, yeah. the thing is, like, and here's the thing. Uh, this, whole, this conversation morphed into a cloud chase conversation. But it used to be, to be a celebrity, right, you had to be an actor, a signed musician. To get on TV, you had to have some kind of skill or some kind of talent, yeah. right? Because you had the big industry controlling the access, right? Like you had to get be on a movie somewhere or uh, have some kind of skill set to be on TV. Now with social media, people are able to create their own platform. People are to, all able to create like kind of their own Hollywood, so to speak. Their own brand, yeah. Like um, streamers and influencers are more recognized than actors now. 100%. I think it's finally gotten to a point now where even A-list actors are can get outshined easily by like a top-tier influencer. You if know you what I mean? a lot of rappers and celebrities are going to Big streamers because they know the rich is there. Mm-hmm. And again, look at uh, song sales, or album sales, all that's going down the drain. But where did they go? The Kai Sinat. Yep. They go to us, they go to different platforms to kind of like yep. get that clout and boost up. It used to sales. be, the, the tour will be, in, uh, my musicians in the back go way on in this. It used to be mm-hmm. tour, you, well, drop the album, yeah. Breakfast Club, you know, uh, fucking Shade 45, whatever the hell it was, right? Mm. Uh, you do all the tours, Hot 97. Sway, yeah. Right? You, yes, you do Sway. Mm-hmm. You go on MTV, TRL, right? Mm-hmm. Then you do your tour, album, uh, uh, you know, and promote your album, right? Now, you're going No Jumper, Vlad, then you're doing uh, maybe another, a, a No Cheese, uh, a Say Cheese maybe. Yeah, Kai. You know what I mean? You're doing a Kai, you're, do, you're doing a... Uh, um, you're jumping on with a streamer, whatever it may be. It's completely changed. Like the the big industries don't own uh, fame anymore, so to speak. Yeah, that's just really what it comes down to. They they the, the music industry, the big industries that like these leg, legacy media, all that, they don't control the fame anymore. It's really in the creator's hands. But now, with that said, since it's the creator's hand, it makes people more desperate to try to get noticed. They have to do crazy shit to get noticed. You know how I know it's crazy? Yeah, go ahead. And shout out to Aiden Ross, especially with the sex worker. I've seen. Niggas that are not on no gay shit, pull up to the stream, knowing he's gonna do some gay shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, like, yeah, you need clout that bad. That's crazy, dog. Yeah, yeah. But again, it's awareness and audience sh- uh, sharing. So I mean, yeah, I get it, man. But it's crazy. But but yo, honestly, um, seeing like the shit that people are doing to get famous, bro. Yo, yo, we, we, yo we got no, we gotta blame somebody here. Okay, for bringing it back to reality. Go ahead. Fuzzy Tube. Listen, I like Fuzzy Tube. He's, <laughs> you mean for the IRL shit? Yeah, he, he's funny. He's hilarious, bro. He's the, he's the original IRL OG. But he brought back IRLs? Some, a lost art, which is IRL streaming. Yeah, he did he bring it back. He made it pop in he did bring it back. on kick. And I'm not going to lie, man. That sparked a whole new wave of people. Yep. Sneeko, Neon, all these people coming yeah. back to Fuzzy started service. It, yeah. I'm like, I'll bro, Fuzzy, you just created a whole world, world star of people that are going crazy. Yeah. Like you created a whole dynamic of IRL again. Yeah, people doing crazy shit to become it's famous. Well. Uh, and, and I'll say this, man. Because, yo, even, just it, now. Even your boy HS trying to clout chase and trying to do, <laughs> do shit. It's like funny, bro. But again, it's for clout. <laughs> it is. It is, man. So, and, um, and it makes me say this, too. Like, um, mm. like I just had an epiphany just now. Bro, we've never paid for promo, yeah. right, to get put on, like, these fucking shade room or anything like that. We could have, but we didn't. We've never done crazy shit that wasn't, um, that was scripted. It was always organic. All real. Pulling out guns, all that crazy shit. It, it was all organic, right? We've never had to do any of that stuff, bro. We're fucking blessed, man, that we literally were able to build an audience, get people that support us. All you guys, by the way, thank you for that. Yep. Without having to do no fucking crazy cloud chasing bullshit, man. Just straight crazy shit happening organically. Us being real, us keeping it a thousand. Because I'll tell you guys this: if we were scripted, y'all would have been known by now. We yeah. got almost two thousand fucking videos on this bitch. We've been exposed. Yeah, we have been exposed a million times. Even our ops that hate us, 
Gotta can't say, say that. that we're scripted. Yeah. Even niggas that absolutely hate us can't say that we're scripted, bro. It's true. You know what I mean? When that fucking dude pulled up with his fucking buddy, right? A lot of y'all niggas, go out there and fight him, Aaron. It's two of them. Are you fucking dumb? The hell? Some of y'all must not uh, understand combat situations. I'm going to get my Glock 17, man. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, I'm fucking ready to go, baby. Like, yo, I've been waiting for this shit. The training is kicks in. Mm. You know? Um, when that fucking chick came in and she had the she had the gun in her purse and we were there with academics. academics. Yeah. Like, bro, the crazy shit that's happened on the podcast, it's all organic, bro. None of it's scripted. Even fucking mm. Anus and Leech can't say that we're scripted, bro. That's true. So, um, bro, we're really blessed that we've been able to build an audience without having to do no fucking wild shit, man. So, yeah. Damn. Thank I you, mean, guys. I mean, honestly, for rocking like, us for the past three the, years. The supporters, yeah. Like, real talk, man. I yeah. got to give y'all. All these niggas doing this weird, go, crazy go, shit, go, selling go. their soul. We never had to do that shit, man. Thank Even fucking God, bro. The hate watchers that well, just watch us to hate. You're giving us views. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah, facts, man. So. so, damn. And then the other thing, too, you know, when people meet us in person, they're like, damn, y'all the same dudes on fucking camera, off camera. Y'all talk the same, <laughs> act the same, all that other shit. Like, there's no Hollywood shit here, man. Like, mm -hmm. you literally... Um, Solid I've people. met so many people, hundreds of people at this point. And, uh, you know, I pride myself on, like, not being Hollywood. Like, always stopping, always taking pictures, always say what up, blah, blah. Even if I don't feel like it, right? Like, this morning, I was, like, fucking, you know, just in the zone. I was, like, trying to get back to the fucking uh, studio and shit. And someone stopped me to talk about the book. And I was, like, eh, fuck my feelings. And I just, yo, mm -hmm. let's fucking chat. You know what it is? Uh, you know, because, you know, you're human. Sometimes you don't feel like talking. But you just got to make it happen because, you know, at the end of the day, um, you never know how you can impact someone's day, especially someone that watches you, someone that supports you. Like my biggest fear is someone meeting me in real life and being like, "Man's a dickhead, man. Fuck that guy." Actually, we know somebody that did that to Mo, right? Yeah, yeah, and that sucks. Yeah, I'm NBA asking, player. I'm asking you're like, <laughs> wait, wait, what's the tip that y'all used to to identify who it was? was y'all gave some fucking uh, laugh, clue. The laugh. I think it was the, the laugh. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh. The laugh. Is that really how we laughed? Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, Worse. Similar. Really? I'm being nice about it. More awkward. Wow. What a fucking loser. That's weird. <laughs> but 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 again, having that one experience where you treat somebody like poorly goes a long way because they don't forget that and they share that everywhere. Like I know celebrities that we have where we've met that treat somebody poorly and they talk about it all the time. Oh yeah, bro. So it's it's crazy. There there's the saying, um, never meet your idol. I don't want that shit to ever fucking ha yeah. happen with me. It's like I want. Oh damn! He's just like the guy on fucking line. You know what I mean? Like even with, with meetups, you always stay behind. Yeah, we really pride ourselves yeah. on being them same guys. And here's the other thing too: if you got, like ask anyone that's worked with us, bro. Ask anyone that's collabed with us, etc. Right? That we've like done shit with. Well, besides this annoying couple right here, but they deserve that shit. Mm. Like they're gonna tell y'all, yo, these guys are upstanding dudes. Yo, they're the same guys on and off camera. Really, the only people that aren't going to say that is, like, a loser like Anus, which, you know, he don't want to put the gloves on for obvious reasons, right? Because he knows I'll beat the integrity into him. But that's what it comes down to, man. It's 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 very important to be who you say you are and be the same person on and off camera, man. And, and it's easy because you don't have to be fake because that's who the fuck you are. 